In Malaysia, schools open on March 1st. Many parents prepared school supplies for their children, while low-income families struggle to afford this additional cost. Ziji volunteers reached out to ensure all children can pursue their education. Take a look. Mahama Yasmin has polio and diabetes, and therefore it is difficult for him to find a job. He relies on subsidies provided by the government in Ziji. Despite the difficulties, he insists on sending four children to school. We are not educated, so we want to send the children to school so that they can become smarter. It's all right that we work hard and send them to school. We need to think for the children. When they grow up and improve their lives, they cannot forget Suji. Volunteers appreciate Mahama Yasmin's insistence. Therefore, they provide supplies for the children before school reopens. <laughs> Mahama Yasmin's wife recalls how the volunteers accompany them during their difficult days and cannot hold back her tears. When we were facing difficulties, no one called us to tackle us about whether we ate meals or care for us. However, Tsuji volunteers kept calling us to care for us. They worried about us. I'm very grateful. No words can describe my feelings. Single father Mahama Hafiz raised his six children on his own. Although his children have reached the schooling ages, Mahama Hafiz, who works as a part-time security guard, cannot afford their tuitions. My children need to go to school and only Tsuji provides help. There is no other subsidies. I cannot work in the daytime and I can only work at night. I work as a nighttime security guard and I take care of my children in the daytime. Mohama Hafiz, who plays the role of a mother, takes care of his children in the daytime and works at night. As a result, he does not get enough rest and cannot help his children with schoolwork. Therefore, the volunteers hope to find a suitable daycare center so the children can have a good learning environment. We kept telling the father to send the children to school, or else, when they grow up and have their own families, they will still walk the same path. We try our best to look for schools. If we cannot find daycare centers or after-school study centers for them, since the father cannot work, obtaining meals is a problem and daily living is another problem. <laughs> Mahama Yasmin's family is grateful to the volunteers, and Mahama Hafiz and his children are also learning. It is hoped that they will be able to pursue a brighter future and change their fate.